before we get into these players, yeah. and how do you evaluate safeties now? Has has it changed like the linebacker position? You said the linebacker yeah. position has changed, and you mentioned a little bit about safety, but how right. how significantly has it changed over the last few years? It's just that it's it's safeties now, other than maybe just a few defenses in football. You know, free safety, strong safety, it doesn't really matter. You got to be able to do both for the mm -hmm. most part, right? A lot of them go, no, you got to get down there over the slot and be a nickel at times and certain things. There's things this team does this week with the run game or even the wide receiver screen game. We'd like you down there in that area, right? So that that's what you got to look at too. And then, yeah, I think maybe coverage comes into play more than it used to as well. Like, I don't remember watching Jamal Adams, you know, six or seven years ago going, well, let me make sure he covers, you know, slot receivers okay. That wasn't really a thing. It was just like, man, he's at the line of scrimmage. He's explosive. Look at him tackle. Hey, top 10 pick. Let's go. Right? Now there is more factors, and I think the way teams are playing and viewing the position, yeah, the nickel slot and all that stuff comes into play here. And for this year and this class, like I said, there's no traditional guy. They all are different. I mean, we have you know some guys are go strong safety nickel, free safety nickel, really just a nickel nickel. I think mm -hmm. when it's all said and done, so we got a little bit of all that. Um, and like I said, I don't think there's a guy that's really a first round pick in this in this draft. I'm going with Jartavius Quan Martin, mm. AK. They call him Quan on the streets, they okay? Do. So I will call him Quan. Yeah, and on the field. Too, Mama yeah. named him Jartavius. We're going to call him Quan, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's just another dude along the same lines of Devin Witherspoon. Now, it's not Devin Witherspoon, don't get me wrong, right? But the mentality, the play, oh my gosh, right? And this guy here, this is where he's rare, okay? Free safety, for sure. I can be a high-level free safety. I'm not sure he can't be a high-level nickel guy, too. Mm. You know, again, the, some of these college teams, this is what they do. It's like, oh, this formation, oh, hey, you got to go down there and cover the slot. You're, hey, I know we only got two safeties in, but you got to cover them. Man-to-man, -man, get on there, man-to-man. -man. So you get to see them in those type of situations. He's got very good coverage skills. I mean, amazingly amazing cover skills the only thing he's missing as far as like he'd be in the top corner convo is just pure top end like speed right where you'd go oh, maybe six gear isn't quite there like when you see them running down a, a open field like a running back running down the sideline you can see what six gear looks like because Devin Witherspoon's running and you go oh there's six gear right this guy's got five and a half but not six but again he's super short area fast and explosive his 10 is 147. Yes. So that tells you how he can come out of a break and do all of that, right? So for a safety, he has elite cover skills. Let alone, I'm not sure he's not an awesome, awesome, you know, nickel slot, right? A guy that Chauncey Gardner Johnson, that's who I kind of compared him to to agree. Yeah, safety. Yeah, get down here, nickel, he can cover slot receivers and do all that. And then, damn, if they run the toss sweep or an edge run, he will go in and throw his body around like a psycho. And that's what he does. So that's where I love them. Sydney Brown, Illinois, right? Number 30 on your roster for the Illinois Fighting Illini. The brother of Chase Brown, and this guy, he, you know, I, I, I wrote down, he's built just like his brother, which, you know, hey, a hard-hitting, explosive running back, right? You know, really good, all-around, twitchy, explosive. I mean, extremely sudden, just like his brother. Packs a punch when he hits you. Takes on box, you know, can just go get the ball. You know, he's one of those again, too. He's a natural. He's got a nose for the football, you know, and he can do whatever you want. You know, this is a guy that, you know, like the other guy who maybe has a little strong safety versatility in Quan Martin, it's really nickel and free safety, like I said. Mm. This is a guy that could definitely do strong safety. There's more of a physicality strength element to where if he was in the box, like I said, but taking boxers, bo uh, blockers on, he, he's going to be fine there. Now, if you had to play him at nickel and do all that too, he's going to be pretty damn fine there too. I mean, you know, again, his his – his numbers in the combine are kind of, I mean, they're not as good as the guy we just talked about, but they're damn good. 447, 15110, 40 inch vertical, 1010 broad. I mean, that's that's real deal. And it's a style of football, you know, that I love. But, you know, it just the run game element, 
the coverage, you know, he's got good range as a free safety in the back end if he wants to do that. You know, it, it, as a nickel, you know, he's got very good hips. They it, Like, both those guys got put in that situation a lot where they had to cover the slot receiver man-to-man and go, or a tight end or whatever. And, man, they're impressive there. I mean, they could play there, period, let alone they have the, the versatility of the, you know, normal safety stuff that we talk about. Um, play strength is off the charts good. I mean, you see it in the run game. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, even with, like, bigger receivers, when he got matched up with them in the slot or a bigger tight end, he's got great contact strength. When they try to push off him or whatever else, he's just so stout and strong, it doesn't affect him there. That's why he's my second guy. Brian Branch from Alabama, who I like. I do. You know, I don't want that to be mistaken here. I understand he's kind of the consensus number one guy. When it comes to pure coverage in the slot, you talk about a guy that jitterbugs, that's made for, you know, the Jalen Waddle, Hunter Renfro underneath. I'm going to catch an eight yard pass from the intricate. Man, he's as good as it gets in that department. Hmm. His feet, his ability to plant his foot in the ground and just driving the ball. I mean, it's as good as any corner in the draft. They're, it's amazing. The acceleration, um, it's good, but doesn't pop at you. The speed is as advertised. It's right around 4'6", right? But his feet in and out of tr tr uh, transition are absolutely phenomenal. Out of back pedal or any type of break, I mean, it is the most efficient footwork you have ever seen. To where you, like, you stop the tape and you're like, whoa, man, did he really just one foot plant and go and do that? Uh, that's where he's really impressive, and I think ultimately that's why he's going to be a big time nickel, you mm. know, uh, more than anything with free safety value to do the things like we just saw right there. Christopher Smith from Georgia, five eleven, one ninety two, mm -hmm. ran a four six two, one five six. He has everything except elite top end speed, and I really think his acceleration is better than what his forty time was. I mean. When he comes down town, comes down, you know, hill or puts his foot in the ground to drive on the ball out of a back pedal, I mean, it's like crazy good. I mean, so that's where you know you do love him in that area. He's at Georgia, so you know he's physical and crazy and brings it because yeah. we haven't seen one that comes out of there that isn't yet, right? You know, he has awesome read and recognition skills. When he sees the play. You know, kind of just like the the first two guys, he can cut. He's got a great feel to just show up, and he shows up a lot. And he sees the play, and he just goes, "I know this play. I saw it on film all week. I'm going right." And so there's no hesitation in that way, you know. So and and then of course, you know, he's um, just tough as hell. You could tell how important it is to him. You know, the competition it, it pops off the screen with him. Jay Ward, LSU. Right, He's a very similar to the guy we just talked about, okay? Except there's more coverage ability here. And Chris Smith had more run game ability, okay? Now, this guy, he's not, you know, maybe this guy's a little bit, you know, uh, it, it's like a, in the tackling physical sense, more like our guy from Alabama. You know, it's not huge hits. He's not going to blow you up, but it's it's still he brings it. And for a skinnier guy, you could see he ain't afraid to tackle or do mm -hmm. anything like that, right? And he's another guy that kind of looks like a corner, right? But man, downhill, hurry in a hurry, you know, just like Chris Smith, the read and reacts are really good, which again maybe makes their acceleration look a bit a little bit better than it is. But either way, that's what it is. You know, they know how to come down and to diagnose a play and go, I'm going to get the ball. You know, he he is physical, he brings it, he has no fear, right? Doesn't always wrap up, but true ball hawk, always around the ball. And then he has good loose hips to turn and run as a as a safety. He's amazing. He's not bad at playing in the trash. Yeah. You know. Yeah, did he he bounces off guys when he hits them? Sure. And he uses his shoulder a little. Okay, but it ain't because he's, like, scared. or I, I, I still, again, I like it. He's 188. He's going to bounce off some running backs every now and then in the NFL. Uh, but, damn, he's a really good player. 
And we got yellow into the rankings because oh, you got to do that. You always you have, have to one do yellow that? guy. You got to have one yellow guy, and you got a couple red guys, mm-hmm. and you got the Illinois guys. Where if they're wearing a little their, orange and blue, but yeah, I think we've put them here. Kristen and Morgan have put them in a blue here because we just got to get away from the orange <laughs> and red. It's just like too much of it. <laughs> yes, uh, that we can do there. Um, so that's it. Yo, 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 thanks for watching, homies. It's the off season, but you know there's no off season for us here at Unbutton. Me, Ahmed Farid, we're going to hit all the stories. So hit subscribe for us, okay? We got a ton coming up. My draft prospect rankings, my Sims Top 40 quarterback countdown, and videos of me and NFL QBs playing catch and talking about their development and mechanics. Again, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out, homies. See you soon.